Hi everyone, welcome to the Cocktail Vlog. I'm Steve the Bartender, and today I'm showing you how to make a Tootsie Roll. Tootsie Rolls have been around for a long time, I think the early 1900s in the States. They're not in Australia, so I have no idea what they taste like, but I'm assuming this cocktail is meant to taste what they taste like. If you guys can try this in the States and comment below and let me know if it is remotely like that particular chocolate, candy, lolly, whatever, whatever it is, because um, I'm not sure. But I'm going to make the drink. Um, but first of all, I'm going to try a bit of Pedro Jimenez, uh, which is a Spanish sherry for those, or it's often shortened to PX as well, for those who aren't familiar with uh, Pedro Jimenez sherry. Um, I actually came across two recipes, one that was on liquor.com and one was on Difford's Guide. Now, I'm assuming this particular one on liquor.com is the original recipe because it says it's written by Aisha Sharp. And the one on Difford's Guide says it's adapted from Aisha Sharp and their recipe is actually very different. It's instead of a rye whiskey, Difford use, utilizes a, an, an aged rum and instead of a Pedro Jimenez, they use maple syrup. So not just is it adapted, they've changed like 66% of the ingredients and the main ingredients, not just the bitters. So. Um, I'm gonna stick with liquor.com's recipe and hopefully this is the most similar to a Tootsie candy, Tootsie roll, lo lolly, whatever it is. Um, onto the PX. So for those who aren't, haven't tried it, it's a real rich, syrupy, uh, quite viscous sherry. And it smells like raisins, like dried sultanas. And it tastes like that too. Very rich sweet and delicious onto the drink <laughs> so this one calls for 60 mil i've gone and done a leandro that's got milk in it <laughs> um, so 60 milliliter of no I think a little jigger. So 60 milliliter, two ounces of your chosen rye whiskey. Another nice, simple three ingredient cocktail. We've got 30 mil, one ounce Pedro Jimenez. And then a chocolate bitters. The liquor.com recipe did call for six dashes. But I'm not sure if they're talking about six drops or dashes because there's differences between Diffords and liquor. I'm gonna have four dashes in total. Give you feedback once I actually try the drink. Uh, fill the glass with ice. and stir it down for about 30 seconds. I think I've had too much milk punch because now I've forgotten, forgotten my strainer as well. <laughs> we'll cut that out. <laughs> Did you break oh, you it? Oh, I broke it, yep. You broke it? And strain that into your chilled stemmed cocktail glass, Nicanora or a coupe. And then garnish with a maraschino cherry. Just going to drop it straight in. Try and get rid of some of that excess syrup. And they have a Tootsie Roll, which looks dark, 
deep, mahogany rich. And delicious, very, very tasty. Have no idea if it tastes like a Tootsie Roll. Um, I love the use of the, the PX Sherry. It's surprisingly not as sweet as I was anticipating. Um, it's the, a lot of the dryness and the, the spiciness comes through from, uh, from the rye whiskey. Uh, probably could stand with a little bit more of the bitters. Uh, it's not as chocolatey. Uh, it doesn't have a, some of those cacao and spice notes. Um, but a damn good drink nonetheless. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Hit that bell button and I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers.